All right, today I wanna to teach you real quick how to go about uploading a video to YouTube. First things first, you just go to YouTube, right? You need to be logged in and you wanna make sure that the icon up here is the icon that matches your channel. Um, if you set up your YouTube channel tied to a Gmail account and then you set up a separate brand account um, for your YouTube channel so that you could have multiple channels tied to that same Gmail, um, you wanna make sure you're not on your personal account, you wanna make sure you're on that brand account. Either way, you just click on here and click switch account and just make sure you are on the account where your YouTube channel is. Otherwise, you upload the video and then you have to redo this whole process. There's no moving a video after it's uploaded. You'd have to delete it, upload it again. So that's the first thing. Now you can go into the YouTube studio if you'd like, or you can just click on this little create button. It's a little movie icon here our screen uh, uh, camera icon, and click Upload Video. It's gonna open this box for us, and this box is going to give us everything we need. So first things first, you need to select a video. You can either click on this and navigate to it, or you, if you know right where it is, you can just drag it on there. I'm gonna upload a simple screen recording. It should upload pretty fast. You'll see that the default title is going to be just whatever the file name was. So you're gonna to wanna to change that to um, something that's interesting and reasonably descriptive. So people know what the video is about, but they're also intrigued and want to watch it. Then you're going to fill out the description. Description is a great place to put links to affiliate products or um, just any other information, maybe a disclaimer. We keep a disclaimer here that talks about our trademarks. So we include those things. And this I'll show you how to do in a couple minutes for those that wanna stick around for it to set it so that there is a default. Otherwise you have to type it out or copy and paste it every time. At the top of the description though, we like to have a short, um, usually one, maybe two paragraphs that just describe what the video is about. That's going to help your viewers and YouTube to identify the topic of the video. That's gonna help it to rank in the right places. It's also often used as the meta description if your video shows up as a search result on a search engine like Google, okay? So it's good to have something there, but we don't go too crazy with it. Below that, you can select a thumbnail image. You can choose one from the video. Right now the video is still uploading, so it doesn't give me an option. You can skip that step for now. It will just auto choose one of these. And you can always come in and change any of these details even after you're done. You can apply it to a playlist. If people do click on a playlist, you can have it set one video after another on a certain topic. And so we do have some playlists. So um, SEO tips, for example, would be a playlist where we could put lots of videos with SEO advice in there and you can add it to the playlist. And then you do have to select whether or not this video is made for kids. If you select yes, um, the video won't be able to have comments on it as well as just some other things. Personalized ads, notifications, I mean, YouTube's gonna tell you right here. Now, um, again, that's another one we can set a default for, so you'll see mine is automatically selected, set to no. There are also more options. A lot of this stuff you don't really have to worry about, but um, if you wanna set tags for your video, if you do videos where the video itself is a paid promotion, um, so you were um, sponsored to make this video, you need to select that box just to confirm that you are following their policies for paid promotion. Um, you can select your language, select that this content hasn't aired on TV, and then you can upload your own subtitles if you want. If not, YouTube will auto-generate subtitles. They're pretty good at it. So you can set the recording date and location. I don't. Um, YouTube standard license means that it can be distributed, it can be embedded. Uh, you can choose not to allow your videos to be embedded, but that means that somebody can take your website and like put it on their, or take your YouTube channel, your YouTube video, and embed it on their website. But if they do that, then when people click on the video, they're watching you, they're watching your video, and it counts toward all of your YouTube numbers. So we just allow it. You can set the category for your channel. Um, comments, you can choose like, um, you know, hold some inappropriate comments and stuff. And anyway, a lot of these things you can set as defaults, so I don't go into this on every video. Then we're gonna click next. If your channel is not monetized for YouTube yet, you won't have the monetization option. Once you do have that option though, you can turn on monetization. Um, this is also something that we usually would set by default to on. 
um, and then once you're done there, you can um, you can select where your videos or where the ads can go on your video. Notice that the before, during, and after ads um, you can't change until the video is done uploading. So that's another place where if I really want to mess with it, I'm going to have to come back after it's done uploading and processing. If you're monetizing it, the next one's going to be ad suitability. And you got to go through these. Do I have adult content, inappropriate language, violence, shocking content, all these things. If you have any of those, you got to tell them what's the degree of that. And then they're going to review the content before they determine whether or not they're going to be okay putting ads on that content. If you have none of these things, you just click none of the above and it will let you move on to the next. Video elements like end screens and cards, um, again, you can't add those until after the video is uploaded. Uploaded. The end screen is where at the end of a video, um, it can only happen in the last 30 seconds. It can show the thumbnail for another video or a little subscribe button. Um, and that's to try to get people to come watch another video on your channel. Most channels don't do a very good job of the end screen. And what it ends up doing is just signaling to everybody that my video is over and then they're just ready to move on to the next video. Cards on the other hand are these little things, this little icon that pops up in the top um, right hand screen um, or your left. Um, so to you, if you're looking, it's on the right side of your screen. It's my left. Um, and it's a little icon that appears and then it pops out with a little text, a little teaser text that says, um, you know, hey, here's another video that I recommend you watch. Oftentimes in a video, if we say, you know what, you should really go check out this other video we made, then we'll do that as a card and we'll even kind of point up to it. Um, that can be a great way to get people to watch other videos on your channel for more background context uh, for the principles you're talking about and just to get people to go watch another video. So those cards we do use fairly often because they can be inserted anywhere and so they're not an obvious signal that your video is ending. Next, you just set who's going to get to see the video and when. So you can set your video to private where it's just, it's a private video. You have to be logged in to see it and you can share it with specific people. So you share it with certain people's email addresses. An unlisted video is one where I can take the, the URL, the link to this video and I can send it out to people, but they have to have that link to be able to see it. Um, they can't, they'll never be able to find it if they're just searching through YouTube. And then public videos can be seen by anybody. They can be shared. Um, they'll show up on your channel. They'll show up all over on YouTube. Um, what we usually do is leave it marked as private. We set that as the default. And then when we upload a video, we click schedule. Um, by scheduling it, it automatically will make the video public at this time and this date. Setting it as a premiere, a premiere is a pre-recorded video, but where the first time it's played at the specific time, it behaves like a YouTube live. So comments come in and stuff, and you may not have that functionality right from the beginning of your channel, but it can be kind of a neat feature. But in general, our videos, we just schedule for them to be public at a specific date and time. And that's it. Once I click schedule, the video will be scheduled to publish on that day and that time with all of these specific details. Now at any point I can go back here and I can change some of these other details. Um, if I want to, I can close this. Now at any time I can go to other videos on my channel, um, videos that have been published or haven't been published. I can click this little details icon and I can edit the video. I can click on any of these on the side to change the monetization. So I can change the ads. I can mess with the subtitles. I can go look at the analytics for the video. I can go into the editor and I can even trim the video or blur out elements. There's a lot that you can do after a video has been uploaded. So anything that you missed in that upload phase of the video, you can come back and tweak it now. Now I said that at the end I would show how to set some of your channel defaults. By clicking on settings down here in the lower left, I can then go to upload defaults and I can set a default title. I don't worry about that. The title of my videos are all going to be different, but I do like to have a default description. If you are going to have a disclaimer, some affiliate links, those kinds of things in the description for your video every time, just write it here and it'll automatically post them every single time, no matter what. And then you just add your little paragraph above that. Pretty nice. You can set your default visibility to private. You can set your default tags for every video. Um, these aren't super important. You can certainly set them. 
Um, and so just having a few that just, I know every video I make is gonna use most or all of these tags. It's kind of nice to do. Then you click save and you're done. That is how you upload a video and some of those upload defaults will probably save you some time considering that uploading videos is something you're gonna be doing a lot, hopefully, over the next little while.